Welcome dart players one and all, today on Street to the Point we're going to be taking a look at a very important part of the darts throw that hasn't really been covered yet online and that is the importance of alignment and how we can make darts an easier game for you. When people talk about alignment they just think it's the way you're facing the dartboard which is kind of true, but there's a bit more to it than that. We'll start by having a quick look at two players who have fantastic alignment of the dartboard although they do stand in completely different parts of the hockey and at completely different angles. A few weeks ago I highlighted how perfect the alignment of this particular player actually was, that being Dmitry Vandenberg. When pausing on the throw you can see his arm and the dart go down one line together, completely straight without any bending or turning. And some believe that this is just because he was central to the hockey, which isn't true. If we look at another player, Michael Smith, who stands to the right hand side of the hockey, you can still see his alignment is absolutely perfect and that dart is going down the same path as his arm, as one straight motion. This allows for a lot more clarity in the throw. When trying to learn how to do this for yourself, it's easier to try and find good alignment from the centre of the hockey first of all. To find it in the centre, Stand as central as you can and pick your arm up like so, pointing your fingers directly to the treble 20, right down the middle. If you find that your arm's at an angle like so, pointing over like this, then adjust where you're standing across the hockey until your arm is straight, like this. From this point on, I want you to lower the elbow and bring the hand closer to you, as if you were going to aim the dart. And when we find that position as if we're going to aim a dart, I want you to just turn your forearm out, keeping the elbow still, and just trying to replicate what your arm would be like if you were to throw a dart. And at this point, I want you to notice the gap between your first finger and the thumb, where the dart would sit roughly. Then keeping the arm still, aim as if you were looking at that treble 20. So you're aiming at the treble 20, but keeping your eye between the first finger and your thumb still. And then I want you to draw back really slowly, making sure that there's no bend in the wrist or any turning from the elbow as you draw back. And then go through with the dart, watching out for exactly the same thing, keeping that gap between your first finger and your thumb. And notice as our hand goes through, that gap between my first finger and the thumb is still there. No bending of the wrist, no turning of the elbow. And that is our natural handprint. That's the way our hand should finish if we go through nice and straight. Please note that everyone's handprint can be slightly different as we all grip the dart differently, which plays a part. But we want it to be straight and consistent and naturally falling into it every single time without any turning of the wrist or elbow. This should allow us to aim the dart, draw back and shoot through nice and straight and just relax into that handprint after the throw. This allows us to just draw the dart back and push the dart out nice and straight, as easy as possible, keeping everything as lined up as you can. And because I've got this good alignment, it means that my arm is always going straight down the same path as the dart. Please watch my video about not pointing at the target as well, I don't need to get confused with that. So if you haven't seen Masterclass 3, go back and watch that. It debunks some terrible advice online about pointing at targets and also provides some really good advice at the end which will go hand in hand with this footage. But as you can see from the center, the alignment is working. So I'm aiming, drawing back nice and straight and throwing through nice and straight, straight into that handprint nice and consistently. However, if you want to do this from the side of the hockey, you need to do exactly the same thing again by pointing your hand up as we went through, but you're going to find you're going to need to stand more or less side on depending on your position on the hockey. So I'll just have a go now trying to find a good alignment from the right hand side of the hockey with my left hand. So you can see I'm pointing at a bit of an angle. Now if I go through by here, my arm is not going straight to the target, so I need to go a little less side on. So I'm just adjusting my feet turning into the target a bit more, and it's about there. Watching it back, I could have gone a little bit less side on again, but that's not bad at all. Considering I never throw from that position and it's my first effort, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It can take a few attempts to get it perfect. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching Straight to the Point. Please remember to like and leave a comment, and as always, subscribe if you love the darts. Roll the credits. <laughs>